What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel once again. So today I got sent this Delta FL Sun Q5 3D printer and I'm gonna get this unboxed. We're gonna test it out, see how well this works and go from there. So stick around. All right, well, we got this out of the box. Here are all the pieces that it comes with. Um, I'm gonna get this assembled. I'll do that off of camera because I have no idea how long this is gonna take. But according to the instructions, it's only really a few pages. So hopefully I can get that done in no time. But I'll be right back once I get this assembled. Okay, so I got this all put together and as you can see there's really only I think there's probably about 20 screws total that I had to get screwed into this it didn't take very long the instructions weren't the clearest on how to put this together but it was pretty straightforward the rails just bolt in they bolt to the top you hang the filament holder up top Bolt on the arms with just a couple screws, tighten them down, and that's about it. Plug in the rest of the, the cords and everything that go in. But yeah, it was pretty simple. There wasn't really much to it. So I'll go ahead and get this turned on. And you can hear it booting up. This looks like a fairly easy interface to use. You have preheat tool set, print, it has the temperature for the extruder, the heat bed, the fan, and as you can see, it's ready. So I have already leveled this, so I'm not gonna go ahead and level it again. And it says right in the directions on how to level it, which is pretty straightforward. It does have this auto leveling device that you just clip right on, plug it in, and once you're done auto leveling it, you just take it off and then manually do it as usual with a piece of paper to where it just barely touches. So I got the SD card all plugged in. So we're gonna go ahead and run one of the test prints on here. So I'm gonna first, I'm just gonna preheat this and I go to preheat and preheat PLA and it's gonna heat up both the extruder and the bed to the desired temperature. So now that that's heated up, this only took probably about two to three minutes to heat up at the most. That was extremely fast. So I'm just gonna go to print and we have test elephant, test knurling. I'm just gonna print this elephant and we'll see how this one comes out. So we'll go to test elephant, print model, confirm, and we'll wait. All right, everybody, so I'm back. So this has finished printing, and from the looks of it, it looks great. See, there you have it. Did have a little brim on it that I'll peel away, no big deal, but yeah, there's virtually no gaps in there whatsoever. I think that came out perfect. I mean, you can't. The top of it, you can see the print lines as is normal, so that's not a big deal. 
But yeah, looking at the quality on the sides, that is, that's perfect. I mean, it, I don't even feel any lines in there. It's just smooth. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna print out more of my big giant Jason. I'm gonna do the hand next and we'll see how that comes out. Okay, so the Jason hand has finished printing. Here's the final piece. As you can see, this looks pretty fantastic if you ask me. There's, it came out just as the model was, how it's supposed to be. I will remove the supports. But this came out looking great. I am super pleased with the quality that this machine actually did. So, High five to that one. So one of the things I really like about this machine is that it is super quiet. When it moves up and down, back and forth, and while it's printing, you barely hear any noise whatsoever coming from this machine. It's super quiet. It was fairly easy to put together. It took about maybe 20, 25 minutes after kind of figuring it out how to put it together. But all the cords were labeled where they're supposed to be. Same with underneath, which goes to X, which goes to Y, which goes to Z. The cable for the filament slid right in. Everything worked how it was supposed to. I like how the screen is very easy to use. If you wanna move it, preheat it, extrude, home, auto level it, change filament, this is all very, very simple to use. Once you put the SD card in, you can just go to print and the files pop up on which you want. The bed heated up extremely fast. It probably only took about three minutes for it to get up to 60 degrees Celsius, which I set it at. So that would, it heated up really quickly. The one thing I don't like about this particular model is I wish the build plate would be a little bigger. As you can see, it's not very big. It's only 200 by 200 by 200 millimeters. So it's not the biggest area, but if you don't need to print something that's gigantic, this would work out just fine for you. And the detail comes out excellent. So that is one very nice feature. And I've never used a machine like this before. Usually it has the dual rails like that. It just goes up and down, back and forth. But this kind of slides around as you saw in the video why it was printing but it worked extremely well. So I'm very happy about that. I like that the SD card, the USB, and the power cord and on off switch is right on the side so it's easy to get to. This is very lightweight. It probably only weighs, I don't know, less than 10 pounds probably. So it's very easy to move around if you need to. I did like the auto leveling system, however, I. Don't really care that you have to take it off once you're done auto leveling it. Otherwise it gets in the way and you wouldn't be able to print. So you have to take that off once you're done auto leveling it, but it's not a big deal. There's no screws or anything. You just clip it right on and plug it in. So it's, it's pretty easy. I just wish it kind of had a different leveling system. So I didn't have to take it off. And once I put it on, it stayed on. So overall, what do I think everyone? I think this is fantastic. This is the FL Sun Q5. It works great. It's very silent. It's very quiet. You don't hear much noise. The speed is good. It heats up quickly. For any beginner that wants a printer and you're not looking for size, this would be the way to go, especially for the price point. I think it's like 249 somewhere around there. But this works fantastic. It's not real bulky. I can put this in the corner. It's very light. So I definitely recommend this machine. It's probably by far the quietest machine that I've used. And the print quality was outstanding. Right off the bat, it came out perfectly. So I could not be happier with this machine and the quality of prints that it put out. If you guys are looking to pick up one of these machines, I will put a link down in the description on where you can purchase one of these. I highly recommend it. I don't think I could be any happier with how this machine works.
But that's it for today, guys. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Ring the bell. Get notified of all the new videos that come out each week. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.